the eighth station, Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ. We bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. There followed after Jesus a great multitude of the people, and among them were women who bewailed and lamented him. But Jesus, turning to them, said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. The men who were Jesus' disciples are either nowhere to be found or following at such a distance so as to disassociate themselves with what they are witnessing before their eyes. But the strength of Jesus' following are the women who have followed him, provided for him, been a part of his ministry, benefiting his livelihood as well as benefiting from the miracles and the teaching he provided for them. And as these faithful followers of Jesus continue with him all the way to the place in which he dies, their grief is unimaginable. Their hearts are shattered, their dreams broken. They cry out and lament for their teacher, their rabbi, their messiah who is about to be extinguished before their eyes. But Jesus, in the midst of his own pain, and in the midst of what little energy he has left, turns to them and tells them not to have pity on him, but to have pity on themselves and upon their families and their community. A good mother is one who keeps order in her household, through her strength, provides guidance and support to her husband, to her children, and to all of the people through, with whom and through whom she works. But in this case, even the strongest mother is about to realize that a house bereft, the life of God in it, is a house that ultimately will find itself grieving even more. The church, the faithful ones of God, often referred to in those feminine terms as a bride or a mother of all believers, bride of Christ, the bride of God, about to be deprived of its very source and joy. The women who faithfully follow Jesus perhaps recognize this. And Jesus does not correct them, but rather reminds them to pray and hold fast, that is, their joy is taken from them, not to despair of hope. For that joy, beyond the pale of their imaginations, beyond what they can see with their eyes, is about to return. And their role is to continue to give strength and support and to proclaim with great joy and faithfulness the works of God in providing life once again to a shattered and broken world. Those who sowed with tears will reap with songs of joy. Let us pray. Teach your church, O Lord, to mourn the sins of which it is guilty and to repent and forsake them that by your pardoning grace, the results of our iniquities may not be visited upon our children and our children's children. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. <laughs>